kids, it's Pastor Travis, and this is Thursday's Thoughts. Hey kids, have any of you guys ever heard the term rules are made to be broken? <laughs> Okay, that's not why rules were made. Rules were not made to be broken. Because what's the point of making something just to break it, right? Makes no sense at all, not in my opinion. Mm. Rules were made so that we can protect ourselves, we can protect others, so we can always try and strive to do the right thing. Rules were made for that. Well, the Bible is full of a lot of rules, especially ten important rules. Ten commandments! These are known as the law. The law is what God gave to his people so that they would know how to continue to follow him without falling into sin. See, by following these ten commandments, you would understand how to follow God and not fall into sin. The bad bad things, the bad stuff, the junk that eats up our heart. Well, okay, well, you, you know what I'm saying, right? Real quick, let's break down those Ten Commandments. The first one is, you shall have no other gods before me. And this is God talking, so he's saying that he is the one and only true God. Number two, you should have no idols. That means putting anything is more important than God. A lot of times people think idols are just statues or idols are money or something like that. But no, actually idols can be a person, somebody who you love so much that you put their relationship as more important than your relationship with God. That can become an idol. Number three, you shall not take the Lord's name in vain. That means you don't say bad things about God. That means you don't use God's name as a bad word. That's what that means. Number four is remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath is the day of rest. See, when God created everything, he did it in seven days, but he actually rested on the seventh day. Day. And he did that as an example to us that we need to take a day of rest, and that's known as the Sabbath. Number five is honor your mother and father. See, kids, it's not just your parents trying to tell you what to do and say, mm. God has said that you need to honor your mother and father. Respect them. Listen to them. Obey them. Number six is you shall not murder. Don't kill anybody. Jesus also says anybody who says that they hate their brother or sister, hate anybody, has committed murder in their heart. <gasps> so think about that next time you say you hate your brother because he took your last goldfish or something like that. Do you really hate them? Do you really want to murder them in your heart? No. Maybe you're just a little upset at them. So you can show them some grace. The next one is you shall not have somebody else's husband or wife. If somebody else is not married to you, then they're not your husband, they're not your wife. So you don't act like they are, and they shouldn't act like they're that to you either. Number eight, you do not steal. If something belongs to somebody else, don't take it. It's simple as that. It's not yours. Number nine is you shall not lie. Don't lie. Don't say something that's not true. Always speak the truth. The last one is do not desire things that other people have. Now that doesn't mean if somebody has a nice cool car, you go, ooh, yeah, I'd like a cool car like that. That's okay. If you say I'd like a cool car like that, if you say I want their car, I want what they have, exactly what they have, not something like what they have. If you start desiring something that somebody else has and you want the exact thing that they have so much that you don't want them to have it anymore that you want to have it, that means you're coveting. And it says do not covet. Do not desire the things that belong to other people. Those are the Ten Commandments. That's the law that God placed for his people to be able to follow him without falling into sin. Those are known as the rules. Rules are not made to be broken. But do you know that Jesus was considered a rule breaker? <coughs> Let me explain. You see, one time Jesus went into this synagogue, this church, and there was this man. His arm was like kind of all wrinkled up and it was hurting. And it, was, it was messed up and it needed to be healed. Well, there was these religious religious people who they followed the law and that's all they knew and if anybody got out of line with the law mm, they showed no grace no mercy whatsoever now on this day it was the sabbath we just read one of the commandments that it said to remember and respect the sabbath now in regards to the sabbath that means that you don't do any work you rest you absolutely rest just the way that god rested on the seventh day so that is what the sabbath is it's a day of rest don't work don't do anything relax chill out man just take it easy it's cool right? yeah. so jesus goes into the synagogue on the sabbath and this man's hand it's all wrinkled, it's all hurting, it's all funky looking, and he's in pain. And so Jesus goes over to this man, and he knows what's in the hearts of these people. He knows what these guys are thinking. And Jesus says, what, what are we supposed to do on the Sabbath? Are we supposed to do good stuff? Are we supposed to do bad, evil stuff? Should we save a life, or, or should we kill a life? Let's say you and your friend are out walking on the Sabbath, and you're just relaxing, a nice, cool walk, and your friend falls into the river, and he starts getting swept away, and you go, oh, oh my gosh, it's my best friend, I can't let him go, but it's the Sabbath, so I can't do anything to work. I'll just, I'll just let him float away. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to save a life. You're supposed to help him. You're supposed to show love. That's what Jesus was talking about. See, Jesus came to add that reminder, the word love, to the law. Let's take a look at a scripture here. Galatians 5, 14. The whole law is made complete in this one command. Love your neighbor the same as you love yourself.
if you look back at all the Ten Commandments, they all talk about love. If you show love to people, if you love them as you love yourself, you put them before yourself, then you will follow all ten of those commandments. So if you just think about it and go, hmm, how do I follow the Ten Commandments? If I show love to everybody, if I live in a way of love towards people, then I'm going to follow those Ten Commandments, every single one of them. So here's Jesus. He's in the synagogue on the Sabbath, and he's next to this guy who's got this messed up hand, and these leaders are looking at him, waiting to see if he does something on the Sabbath. <laughs> and what do you think Jesus does? I think you already know the answer to that, but I would love for you to check it out just for yourself. Find the ending of this little story here. Go to the New Testament, the book of Mark, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, and you can read this little story and find out just exactly what Jesus did. When there's a rule in place, think about how you can follow that rule by showing love. Remember, kids, we're supposed to follow the rules. We're supposed to follow the law, but if we're not doing it with love, <clears throat> we're not doing it right at all. All right, kids, that's all I have for you this week, and I will talk to you later. You guys have a wonderful, awesome, fantastic, fabulous week. Love you all. God bless. Love your neighbor. If you want to check it out, I would love... Cole. Cole's got something to say.